sound like quiet. And loifer usually is jumpy, they're running. And we see that over there, the opposite attracts. And then you're moving to the other family, the Aronos are Koyanim. Koyanim are Zrizim, they're running. They know to be that. And on the other side, they have Langzam. <laughs> it's slow. No, it's not slow. Langzam in German is um, Pavoli. It's, it's like more, it's, it's, it's calm. It's calm and Relax. tranquil. Relax. Relax. Please back. Pamela. <laughs> no rush. Matter of fact, just recently, the Israeli army, together with the German one, had a project of building the most uh, expensive uh, military tool yet that they bought. It was submarines, and nuclear submarines. And they built it in a city by the name Kiel, Kiel, yep. north of Germany. And there was two teams of Israeli engineers and the Germans. The Germans known to do everything very thorough and nice. And Israelis like to be innovative and quick. So the Israelis were screaming to the Germans, yalla yalla, quick quick. So the Germans answered them back, nein yalla yalla, langsam, langsam. <laughs> Having said that, we're going to Akhir and Chavim, the Chasim Kalo, Achi Ezer, and Chano. God should bless them with Mitra Shem Bona, Chayim, and Reiner Vicha, long life. Amen. Usually they say the woman is the Ezer Kenegri, the help. But today we're in a generation where the Kavit is the the Gover. So Achi Ezer Shem Shark, Chasim Agia, and he's the Ezer already. So, in light of that Purim Spiel, I would like to say actually, in a more serious note, that there's a great connection between tonight and Purim. And the connection is tonight is the Svam. Kayim Osihari Bashlamusa, the full moon of Sivan. Sivan is the month of Matan Torah. There's a famous expression, it won't be a long word, but I think it's again a little That the Yidin, after they got from Mardchai from and from Esther the orders of what to do, Kim on the Kimu Alehem. They have accept and they receive. And the Chazal asking it anymore that accept and receive so seemingly in the wrong order. <coughs> you first receive something and then you accept it, you follow it. It's supposed to be Vikiblu Vikimu, not Vikimu Vikiblu. So I'm going to just zoom in a little bit to the Gemara. It's not going to be so hard, but I'm going to tell you three people in the Gemara Masech the Shabbos discussing an idea what happened in the time when the prayer was given. One was saying that the Torah was giving Harki Gigi, so it was like a very big kind of a upside down or kind of buckets. The mountain was a shape like a bucket and it was on top of everybody's head. And if they not get the Torah, the mountain will go on top of the head. So to speak, we were getting the Torah with the gun to our head. So the other Amayra responded to that Gemara, at least from that we see that in case if ever the Abishter will take the Eden to Adin and he will ask them, how come he didn't keep the Torah? They will answer him, according to the Torah, it was an oinus, we were forced, we don't have to. That was the two Amayroim correspond. Then come a third Amayra Rabba, and he actually says, However, later on there was a time the Kibbalu Aleim, that actually accepted it willingly. When was it? In the time of Purim because of the miracle. So what I want to say over here is it took almost a thousand years after Matan Torah till we say that he didn't really receive it. Up to then they were forced, they kind of didn't really like it. The back and forth will fall back to avoid the Zorah. When for the first time collectively we know B'nai Yisrael went from Sirius Nefesh, that was by the time of Mordechai and Esther in Shushan Abira. The connection for tonight is tonight, 89 years ago, the Friedrich Rebbe was taken to arrest in Leningrad, into the town of I know it's the fifth night of Sharon Brachas. We're completing the year of five Koilois. The family of Lafra going tomorrow to another wedding. I wish them well. If I'll be you, I won't be sitting here. I'll be dancing from nervousness, actually. But I wish you well. It should be a nice chasen, eh? The lesson of that arrest to us was that the Friedrich Rebbe saw then the future in Phil Mashiach, that the biggest opposition to Yiddishkeit will be about Jewish education, especially children. Matter of fact, he was arrested directly because he was involved of reviving Jewish education. And years later, it seems like this is the same place where we're up to so many years later. Allow me even to say my little Hanukkah or kind of Chiddush. The Gimel Tammuz, the day that seemingly to us so tragic, looking back at history, it was a very happy day. That was the day that the Friedrich Rebbe was released out of Shpalerna, and his life was actually spared. So it seems to me that the Rebbe was sending us a little message a, despite the fact that Gimel Tammuz seems to be very dark, the history of it, the Refuah Lomaka was a day of Hei Pachachayim Lachayim. B, it's about the same there, it's gonna be about the Jewish children. So even after our Gimel Tammuz, still what we're fighting for is the Jewish children. And because a Hasana is about children, ain't Isha Allah Labonim. So I wanna wish the Hasana over here, the idea of the opposite of trap, that you should take the opposite side, which you took it until now. In order to get married, you have to be attracted. If there's no attraction, there's no marriage. I would say the same thing about work and about buying a house. You have to like it. You have to like your work, you have to like your wife. 
Because there's no liking there, there's no foundation there. But then, when you already get married, you have to bring simcha into the house. Like the simcha of Chas Kala. My little suggestion to you from a little experience, happiness comes through opposite. In other words, whatever your heart attracts, do the opposite, and then you're gonna reach happiness. <coughs> your heart will attract to slip in, break it, and you'll reach happiness. Your heart will attract to be upset, break in, and you'll be happy. Your heart will attract not to go to shul, not to meet people, not to engage with people, not to speak in public, whatever you're gonna feel you don't wanna do, break yourself and do it, and I promise you happiness. David Shil Hoffman, Vana Hoisman Toyro, from Philo, from Mils Chasodim, everyone around this table should have good Shidduchim, Goran Gichim, Shane Shidduchim, Freilka Shidduchim, Gizunt, Nachas Parnasu, and ultimately Mishiach Tzitkein, we won't look before Gimel Tam, as Lachayim. Lachayim.